Hello, welcome to this uh, new Dr. Flow video. Uh, today I'll talk about the link between Microsoft Flow and guest user. I'm Dr. Flow. My real name is Serge Luca. I'm MVP in uh, Office 365 and uh, Microsoft uh, Flow. And I'm based in Brussels. Uh, several days ago, the Flow team announced guest user support. That means uh, now in Flow you can interact with guest users, so user who are not defined in your uh, own tenant. If you want more information about this, you can take a look at this blog post. So I will summarize the blog post and make a few demos. So this is my tenant. Right, so my tenant is Dr. Flow, August 19 at Microsoft.com. And in this tenant, I'm gonna bring a guest user, so a guest defined in another tenant, redwoodsl.microsoft.com. So the guest user is guest at redwoodsl.microsoft.com. So let's do that. And uh, let's go to the Dr. Flow tenant. So basically you need to go to Azure portal so you go to azure.com and you need to bring the guest user so the guest user need to be defined in the azure ad so let's go to portal here and uh, in azure active directory you just need to go to user add a guest so the guest email address is this one. Click on invite. Okay. Now if I type guest, normally I should see this new user. I should refresh a little bit. Here we go, it's there. And then you need to assign a license. So that's something very important. And that's something that should be done by IT. So you just cannot invite a guest in your tenant as a business user. The IT should assign an Office 365 license. Before doing that, you need to set up the following settings. So if you go to the guest profile, you will see that usage location should be defined so in my case i'm going to select belgium because that's where i am and then you can assign a license so let's go to license and it might not work the first time but and here you need to select office 365 assign you might get an error. You need to try again. It's probably something related to a cache issue or something. Assign and here we go. Right, so this guest user has been defined in our tenant. Now what we're gonna do is, as a user, the tenant, I'm going to create an approval that will ask the guest user to approve something. So this is a very, very basic approval. So here, start and wait for an approval and the user will be guest, normally guest. Yeah, here we go, guest is defined. Let's remove the previous one. Okay, and save, run the flow, okay, the flow is running, and now the flow will ask the guest user to approve, so I will go to the guest console is this one so I'm in the guest and normally in my inbox I should have received 
yes, that's the correct date and time, have received an approval request, which is this one. You will notice that uh, we don't have adaptive card in the guest approval request, as we normally have with normal user. So user can click on approve, and then it will uh, be asked to accept the permission. It might take 10 or 15 seconds. Okay, so I'm going to select the location. And now, as you can see here, as a guest user, I can approve. So that is new, that is very nice, that is very important today. I can put a comment. So I have other options like approve, reject, reassign, confirm. And I can see that I'm in the guest, um, I'm in the, um, sorry, not the guest tenant, but the uh, Dr. Flow tenant. So I'm a guest in another tenant because I have a yellow banner here. Okay, so don't see your approval, it's because you are in guest mode. Go to your org default environment. And the thing is, if you click on my flow, for instance, you will be able, as a guest, to create a flow in this guest environment. So, for instance, let's create a flow. I'm going to skip this one. And I will say, I want my flow to start from the following SharePoint trigger for a selected file and I will say that I want to be able to start the flow from the following SharePoint site which is in uh, the Dr. Flow tenant so I'm still a guest in the Dr. Flow tenant the library or oh, I cannot find the library that means this guest user must be defined, must be authorized in this SharePoint site. Okay, so let's go to the SharePoint site. So I will switch as the, uh, the other user in the Dr. Flow tenant. The demo guest is this one. So here, this is the document library I want to target and to authorize the user. That's very easy, that's SharePoint Online. So I permission, I'm going to advanced permission and I'm going to say that the guest user is authorized in this site. Guests On Microsoft.com. So that's a good one. It's an external user. Okay, so no guest can access this SharePoint site, right? So I'm going to switch to the guest user just to make sure I can access this site. Demo guest. Okay, that works. So that means now I should be able to resolve this URL so here I can see document right now okay so when I select the file to the document so do something so I don't I don't want to go too far in the flow itself let's keep it uh, basic so do something let's say hello world and complete okay so yes let's rename this flow Just select the file. Okay. So now this means, well, that this flow, which is running in the Dr. Flow environment, 
should be available right here by the guest user. So if I go to the document library, if I select a file now as a guest user, so let me make sure I'm a guest user, yes, I'm a guest user, I should see my flow. Guest select a file, so the panel the flow panel will show up. It's always a little bit slow. Continue. Run flow. Okay. So now if I check this flow and so you will see my running flow. So I'm still uh, in guest mode and uh, normally this flow has been running yes so that works okay uh, that's fine now there's there is something that you should know uh, there are some limitations like for instance if you want to share this uh, flow with uh, another owner you cannot so let's say here I want to share that with this guy, you see, I have ins insufficient privilege. So that's a little bit annoying. Also, you cannot run your flow or authorize other user to, to use your flow. So the run only user is not available yet. So if I want other user like this guy to be able to, um, to, to start the flow from the document library, this won't work yet. I hope that this will be fixed in the future. Okay, uh, other things that you need to know is as a guest, you cannot access your SharePoint site. So if you have your SharePoint site in your tenant, you won't be able to access it as a guest mode. So example, I have the following SharePoint site, Redwood team site. What I want is uh, in guest mode, I want to be able to access um, the following SharePoint site, which is this one, Redwood, right? So it's actually my own my own site. And a new flow. select file and I want to use the following SharePoint and select trigger again let's paste my inside URL and as you can see the system uh, cannot communicate with the SharePoint site so it cannot find the library so actually it prevent user from doing that so the idea is that for the SharePoint uh, connector, you can only connect to uh, the inviting tenant, right? But you cannot connect to your own tenant. That's for SharePoint. Same for approval. Uh, for the other action, it's the other way around. So for instance, if you use um, the following Office 365 action that allow you to retrieve user so search for users and you type search Luca in guest mode of course actually the search Luca will be retrieved from your home tenant not from the inviting tenant right so if I run this normally I should retrieve search Luca from Redwood tenant not from Dr. Flow tenant and that's by default like this for every other action. According to the flow block, the flow team block, so yes, indeed, search Luca. Normally we'll find, well, we'll have more and more action that allow communicating with the, uh, in the inviting tenant. Uh, so by default, it's in the home tenant.
and the exception is, is uh, shared by all. Okay, so uh, let's summarize uh, what we have seen plus new features. So guests now can use your tenant, so you can collaborate with people who are not defined in your tenant, but you still need to assign an Office 35 license. So you can connect, so this guest user can connect to your SharePoint site and to your approval system. So that the other action can connect to the own tenant only, that's by default. Uh, guests cannot browse users uh, because by default guests are not authorized to, to find the user directory. Also, when you are in guest mode and when your flow running guest mode sent a mobile notification, this does not work yet because the mobile app cannot, uh, user cannot log in as a guest in the mobile app. And as we have seen, uh, we, you cannot share your flow with co-owners and you cannot authorize other users to use your flow when it's a flow that requires some user interaction. So you cannot use the runners. Okay, so basically that's very important. So this guest access is, is very important and I think people will love it. Thank you very much.